Can you see me? I think so. All right. Oh, what a fun morning. How are you guys doing all right today? All right. So I'm experimenting. I'm so excited because even though the Great Lakes Science Center is closed for the health and wellness of the staff, you guys, and all of our partners, that does not mean that the fun and learning have to stop. And let me tell you, I have had quite a learning experience this morning. So for those of you that are watching live, hi, I am still trying to figure out how to comment. So make sure that you check back every day at 1030 because 1030 in the morning, every day, we're going to upload new live videos, interactive experiences and challenge for you to do at home. So I'm actually here at Great Lakes Science Center. There's nobody else around me. So I thought that I would bring one of my favorite engineering design challenges to you. Now, if you want more content like this, or if you wanna see what we're up to behind the scenes, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can know whenever we post a live video. All right, I'm ready to get started. Are you guys ready to get started? Here's the thing. Whenever you do science, super important that you wash your hands before you experiment. So I've already done that. My hands are impeccably clean. I like to sing songs. Let's see. Mm, I sing the alphabet song just before I came in here to film this video. Sometimes I just like to count. My favorite thing to do though, I like to think back into history and try to remember some of the most famous quotes from our historians. So that's what I do when I wash my hands. Make sure that you do something fun so that when you experiment at home, your hands are as clean as mine. Okay, I'm ready to get started. So for today, first thing that you're gonna need to know is what materials you need in order to compete in this engineering design challenge. Let me show you. Okay. I'm behind my lab bench. I'm a little bit further away, but hopefully you can still see me. Let's see. First thing that we need is we need some sort of container of water. This is clean water. It's nice and cool because we are going to be experimenting with something that you probably have in your house, aluminum foil. Now, for our engineering design challenge, the thing is, is that we need to think like engineers. So what is an engineer? What do you think? Do you know any engineers? Make sure you comment in the bottom to let us know if you know any engineers and what they do. An engineer is a special scientist. It's a scientist that experiments to solve problems. We've got a problem. My problem is, is I don't wanna put wet pennies in my pocket. So I want to make a boat that's going to let me sail my pennies across a tub of water without sinking. In order to do that, I can either just start building a boat and test my design, and if it doesn't work, well, I get to try it again, or I can sketch out a plan and then experiment with it and then build my solution. No matter where you start, as long as you follow that engineering design process, you're an engineer. So we already have our tub of water. We know what we're trying to save, my bucket of pennies. We know that we're going to try to make a boat using aluminum foil. Hey, mom and dad, this is a perfect experiment for you to do with your kids. Because here's the thing. We also are gonna potentially be using some scissors. So if you are younger, make sure you have your adult permission to use the aluminum foil as well as to use the scissors. The other things that are gonna be helpful, a ruler and some sort of permanent marker or some way to mark your boat because we are going to have a challenge. I'm gonna build a boat and then I want you to build a boat at home and we're gonna see whose boat, boat can hold the most pennies. In order to do that, we need to make sure that our experiments are nice and fair. So everybody's going to use the same size aluminum foil. You wanna measure 12 inches by 12 inches or one foot square of aluminum foil like I've done here. 
So let's cut another one. So we're going to measure 12 inches out and mark it. And then again, and then draw a line. And then we're gonna cut it out. Maybe you don't have the same aluminum foil that I have, but what other things might you be able to experiment with? Or maybe you have a different kind of aluminum foil or a couple different kinds of aluminum foil. You can also be a material scientist and explore the different types of material. So now that I have a 12 inch square of boat, I want to try to, well, build a boat. All right, so here's the thing. Hmm. Aluminum foil is really nice because it's slippery. It's hydrophobic, which means it's not going to absorb the water. And if I add water into the boat, it means it's going to add mass. So I'm just gonna fold and fold and fold, fold until I get a nice boat shape. Oh yeah, this is a really good boat. Hey, are you building one at home with me? Or maybe you have to get your materials. That's okay, we still really wanna see what you design at home and how well your boat floats. All right, hey, that's a pretty cool boat. What do you guys think? Does it look like a boat? Would you ride in my boat? Well, it's kind of small for us. Okay, now let's test the boat. That's probably one of my favorite parts of science is getting to test things and see if they work. Okay, all right, so. We're gonna put my boat in the water. Do you think it's gonna float? Well, the only way to find out is to test it. And it does, I don't know if you can see that, but my boat is floating in the water. Now the thing with buoyancy or when things float is there's a couple of different forces acting upon them. There's a force of gravity that's keeping us on the earth. It's also keeping the boat on the surface of the water. But there's an upward force of buoyancy that's pushing up on the boat. Right now, because the boat is floating, there's more buoyant upward forces than there is the gravitational downward force. But because of this really awesome scientist named Sir Isaac Newton, we know that if I add more mass, that's going to change the force also going to affect how it moves. So let's test to see how many pennies my boat can hold. Maybe you don't have pennies at home. This is where you get to be creative. Maybe you don't have pennies. Can you float Lego bricks? Or maybe you have marbles or matchbox cars. Or you tell us, what do you get to float in your boat? For our experiment, so that I can see how my boat design compares to your boat design, we're gonna use pennies because they're the same shape, size, and mass. All right, let's get started. I think that my boat's gonna be able to hold a lot of pennies. There's two, three, four. Oh, let's do it in three, seven. That's nine. It's still floating. Oh, let's just add a whole bunch of them and see how many we can get. Do you think I can get the whole tub? Starting to get lower in the water. I don't know. I'm gonna add them slowly now, one at a time. Balancing the weight distribution is also going to help my boat float. Now, if I put all that weight, all that mass in the front of the boat, it might sink a little bit more quickly, especially if we got water in there. So now I'm gonna slow down and see. Uh oh, I see water in my boat, but it's still floating. That means that those forces are still pretty well balanced. I'm gonna have to add up all these pennies. I didn't think my design was gonna work so well. I'm so excited. Isn't science awesome? Wow. I thought maybe I'd get to hold 10 pennies, but you know what? Even if I only got to help hold 10 pennies, I'd probably try it again because that's what's so fun about science is maybe it works. Maybe you get to try something different. If it doesn't work, you know what we, who sank the boat? All right, well, I know that I was able to hold a lot of pennies. I have another boat design here and I wanna know what you think. Do you think that if I repeated this experiment with this boat, that I'd be able to hold more pennies? 
or fewer pennies? Guess we're going to have to tune in later to find out. So now don't forget, I want to know what you are doing at home to keep science part of your everyday routine because you are a scientist every single solitary day. For today's challenge, we are making boats. So make sure that you get your adult or chaperone, gather all of your supplies, test your design, and then share it with us. Let us know. Show us your boat. Make sure that you tag us. Subscribe to our channel because we're going to have so much more fun every morning at 1030 a.m. Make sure you drop your comments down below. If there's something that you want to see, let us know because just like I was experimenting with my boat design, we're experimenting with this new Curiosity Corner Live channel. So hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell so that you know the minute we go live or the minute we post a new video because we've got so much fun in store for you here at Great Lakes Science Center. As always, stay curious. See you next time.